As we draw our rough key poses, we'll be talking about layers in the timeline and columns in our X sheet. Any modifications you do in one will be reflected in the other as they are both visual representations of the exact same thing. Modifying a drawing or extending its exposure in the timeline will also update it in the X sheet and vice versa. So in this video, we're going to be talking about both. To start, we can go in our timeline and we can show the thumbnails of our layer by clicking on show thumbnails down here and you'll see our thumbnails have been are now shown and we can zoom in using our keyboard shortcuts by default are one and two and using shift or excuse me spacebar to pan around if we are not comfortable with this we can even use the zoom level slider down here to find something a little more suitable for us and as we work up in our camera view we can easily glance down and reference any drawings that are before or after that we are working on. I'm going to turn my thumbnail view off for now and I'm going to reset this. So as we work we often find ourselves changing our timing and there's a number of ways of both increasing and decreasing our exposures. Now an exposure is exactly that. It is telling Harmony exactly how long a particular drawing will be on screen for. So while this drawing here is indeed only one drawing, it is exposed for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, 10 exposures. So in order to increase and decrease, we just click on an exposure and we right click, go to exposure and we choose increase. Doing so will add one exposure and push everything down in the timeline. Undo. I can do the same thing here in the X sheet. I can right click, go down to exposure and hit increase or decrease. Decrease will pull everything up in time. Another thing that's kind of handy is a keyboard shortcut to do the exact same thing. We can make a selection here and using our numerical keyboard, the plus and minus keys, we can push and pull exposures as we need. The X sheet can do the same, exact same thing. I make a selection, I select a drawing, I can use plus and minus to push and pull my exposures. The X sheet has the addition of a little box down here where I can manually type in a value. So if I wanted it to be four frames or nine frames or 49 frames, <laughs> I can manually type in whatever I want there. So we can also extend our previous drawings exposure automatically. And what I mean by that is, let me make a new layer. I'll call it roughs and I'll hit add and close. And at frame 10, I'm going to draw a box. And at frame 30, I'll draw a circle. And if you notice from, my, from me, down in the timeline and in the X sheet, Harmony automatically filled in the exposure for me. If yours is not doing that, you can set it in your preferences by going to Edit and Preferences on Windows or you know, on a Mac. You will go over to Toon Boom Harmony and drop down to Preferences. Once in Preferences, click on Exposure Sheet and you'll see under Drawing Creation, Extend Exposure of Previous Drawing. Make sure that's checked off and hit OK. So there's a few things we can do while dragging and making selections of our cells in both the timeline and in the X sheet. So the first thing we can do is just make a selection, just dragging, and we can just move it wherever we need to in time. Let me undo so I can push things down a little bit. Same thing is true for here in the X sheet. I'll just drag and you'll notice that a bunch of dots have appeared on the left hand side of our cells and my cursor changes to a little crosshair. So if I click and drag, the exact same operation takes place. We can use a combination of keyboard shortcuts to alter this a little bit. So if I make my selection here, select like four drawings or so, if I hold down control and drag and drop onto another layer, it will copy the drawings onto that layer. Undo. Same is true for the X sheet here. If I make a selection, hold down control and drag and drop, We'll make a copy of my drawings. Undo. 
if I make a selection and hold down control within the same layer, dragging, dropping, and letting go of control, I'm making a copy while keeping the original exposures as they were in time. I want to point out that I am making a copy of the exposures and not the drawings themselves. If I was to update this drawing with an X and then move forward in time to the copied one, the X will still be there because it is the same drawing. I'm just simply copying its exposure. Let me undo that. The other thing we can do, let me undo this copy as well, is we can make a selection dragging. Now once I start to drag my selection, I'm going to hold down shift. You'll see my cursor turns into a little sliver. Once I let go, it will drop in my selection and push down everything I have in time. A bit of a better way of showing that would be some numbered cells over here. Let's hide that. These are just blank drawings with numbers on them through one, one through ten. So if I make a selection here by dragging, by making a selection, now tr hovering over to the left, whoops, close, dragging, and if I hold shift, I can insert between two and three, letting go. You'll see my numbers go from one, two, then seven, eight, nine, ten, and then three, four, five, six. So that's just a handy way of reordering your animation if you need to.